The federal shutdown has affected many things and people from furloughs to the shutdown of national parks, monuments and memorials, including the World War II Memorial in Washington, D.C. Tuesday, vets arriving from Mississippi and Iowa were greeted with a barricade, but they didn't let that stop them. And now, despite the government shutdown, vets can still visit this particular memorial, which is good news for a group of Southwest Michigan vets who learned today they'll be making the trip very soon to see it. News Channel 3's Lauren Springer was there as the vets each accepted their mission papers. Lauren. Well, Julia, it's likely this will be the last mission for these vets. A thank you from the West Michigan community to the men and women who served for our freedom. Today, five World War II veterans were surprised at home, each informed by a National Guard member that they had an upcoming mission. That mission to travel to Washington, D.C. in a few weeks to see the war memorials. Talents Out Honor Flight, based here in Portage, has been working for weeks to raise the funds to send two dozen vets on the day-long trip. The nonprofit was inspired after bringing an Honor Flight documentary here to West Michigan last year. Those behind the cause say if it weren't for these men and women, the United States wouldn't be what it is today. If it weren't for those veterans, we wouldn't be here today, and I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing. And so just to see the history and know that we're able to uh, give them the recognition that they deserve is, is certainly rewarding for me and, um, and for the rest of the military. And the first Southwest Michigan Honor Flight departs Saturday, October 26. For those interested in participating in the Welcome Home festivities or still donating to the cause, we have all of that information posted on our website. That's WWMT.com.